Hello everyone, this is internal documents from the Grocery Manufacturer Associations. Um, and they reveal their height of corporate industries solution to GMO labeling is to pursue statutory federal preemption which does not include a labeling requirement. Um, do you guys understand what that's saying? Um, here in Washington State it was like very very close on them labeling here it should have been labeled two years ago but however let me let me just read this because well I tell you what I'll just leave this link if you can you can probably read some of it I'm at a weird angle um, with well, I'll read some of it with the disappointing results now in from I-522 the initiative in Washington State that would have required labeling of genetically engineered food aka GMOs, the looming question is what's next? At least for junk food lobby, that answer is painfully clear. Stop the state level movement at any cost in today's New York Times says. Reports on the dirty details contained in the industry documents that I obtained from the Washington State Attorney General's office in the wake of the lawsuit brought against the Grocery Manufacturers Association for illegal concealing of the donors to the uh, they did boy we got one of those I think I did a video on that that's all they did is put this in the mailbox I don't know how, many, how much waste they did trying to tell people to vote no I didn't vote just letting you know as I explained back in February the food industry is the ultimate game plan to stop the bleeding in the state-by-state -state onslaught of GMO labeling efforts is the lobby for a weak federal law that simultaneously preempts or trumps any state level policy. While we have known that the industry would wants to put an end to the public relation nightmares happening state by state, the document for the first time reveals the, the lobbyist specific strategy and I'm gonna let you read the rest of it but basically it says they just don't want labels I mean they may settle for something that shows cal calories and this is my suggestion. If this is what they're going to do, they just need to put food, just label it food on a can, and then you, or whatever you're buying, don't even say what it appears to be. Um, you know, this maybe they just should say this appears to be a piece of meat, this appears to be a vegetable, because obviously they don't want to label anything according to this. As a matter of fact, they would like to take away some of the restrictions they now have on labeling. So um, I say start growing your own garden so you know what you're eating. Save your own seeds so you don't get the Monsanto seeds. And, and that's the way you're going to have to live, folks. Because if they have their way, they're going to do it at a federal level where your state can't trump the federal law. That is their solution. Kind of, And it'll tell you about what happened in um, fast food restaurants where people used to protest so they put calories. That's not what they were protesting. Um, about was the calories. They wanted to know what was in the junk food. I, I think at Taco Bell or one of them, they have to call their meat a filler. So it's not even meat if you guys eat at those fast food places. Um, I call them dangerous places to to go to myself. Anyway, I'm going to leave this link because it's pretty long. And just let you know, just this is a heads up, it's time to grow your own food. Don't trust anyone <laughs> anymore in the government. Um, the mind control peoples and um, and don't fear this you have solutions right there in your yard if you live in the city if you live in an apartment you can plant some food in pots outside there is ways around this or even use an extra space in your house and um, plant stuff I mean just do something to counteract them you know because if we put the squeeze to them and they're not making money they'll eventually have to label stuff if you don't purchase it, purchase stuff that you know that is is pretty much GMO free. I can't say every, I don't believe anything is GMO free. But this is what I would suggest. Start purchasing stuff that you know that these people care about what's in their product. And maybe it'll just be 70% organic. But that would still hit the GMO industry hard. Do not participate. That is the only way you're going to get this done. Do not participate in all their stuff. I'll tell you the reason I didn't vote. It's because our state is invested in Monsanto. In other words, our state owns a share in Monsanto. So they were automatically not going to win this I-522 campaign. So it was a, a they were going to make it look like it's close. I knew that. 
Um, <clears throat> however, when your state is invested in Monsanto, they're surely not going to take that investment away and lose money. And that's all I have to say. I'm going to leave this link for you guys. All I, the solution is start growing your own food or go to a local farmer's market and buy your food from them and can it for the winter. That's all you have to do. Start doing those little things. And believe it or not, if you eat healthier food, you don't eat as much. It seems this junk food is basically fillers and people are hungry all the time. Um, so this way, this would be great. This would be a great way to put the squeeze. If they're not making money, <clears throat> they'll eventually label what's in the food. We have the power just by, because they love that money, don't participate. And then when you don't participate, the label. Peace, love, truth. I'm out of here.